Hello everyone, Yonstar here, and most of us have been to school, right? And in the US, the first year of school is called kindergarten, from ages 5 to 6. So despite the fact my memories are hazy in places, I still have some stories for all of you guys. This might jump around here and there, so sorry in advance. Now let me introduce you to some people I knew this year. There was my teacher, who was pretty strict and had a short temper. There was the secondary teacher, who was the sweetest old lady. There was Ian, who was this nerdy boy I had a crush on for a while. He was the one who spooled me to the whole Darth Vader, I am your father twist. There was Hope, who was my on and off again best friend with a pretty older sister. There was Robert, who was my bully throughout all of elementary school. And then there's Kylie, who was a pretty and popular girl, though she won't be very relevant in this video, but in a future installment. Okay, so my first day was probably the most eventful one of the year. One of the first things I remember is getting lost. It was lunch and I was having my very first grilled cheese. Apparently it was so good I wanted to take my time eating it. So when all the other kids were putting their trays away and going to recess, I was eating. I think a teacher even reassured me that I could take my time. And since this was my first school lunch, I don't think I realized there was actually a time limit. Eventually I finished, put my tray away, and went out for recess. Except for some reason, I didn't see anybody. So I panicked and went back into the cafeteria. There weren't any teachers left inside, and so I thought it would be smart to go out the doors I came in through. So I started wandering around a bit, looking for anyone. Eventually I tried to go back to the classroom, but even though all the portables were labeled, I couldn't remember for the life of me which one was mine. By this time I was in tears and freaking the hell out. I went back to the cafeteria and just so happened to run into my teacher and my class coming back from recess. My teacher was really mad that I got lost, even though it's not my fault the school just turned into a horror game on me. By the end of the day, they gave everyone a messenger bag that had the portable label on it, which they had given that to us earlier. In elementary school, every couple of days we'd go to a separate classroom or building for extracurricular activities like PE and art. I forget what we called it, but Google calls it special, so that's the term I'll use. The first special I'll talk about is PE or physical education, a class for exercise and such. My coach was very lax and would usually let me hang out on the mats when I didn't want to do anything. One of the reasons, I assume, is because I was picked on by the other kids. On the first day of recess, Robert actually grabbed a dodgeball, one of the hard ones too, and hit me point blank in the face. The real kicker was this was when everyone was putting things away. The game was over and he still did that crap. Luckily he got in trouble after I started to wail. Needless to say, I hated dodgeball. I still hate dodgeball, actually. I would always hide next to the water fountain to avoid it. I also remember that whenever a girl would go to bat, the coach would shout, Ooh, look, a girl with a baseball bat. Though to be fair to him, it was 2009. Another game I hate is Sharks vs. Minnows. Basically, you wear a belt with Velcro tags on it, and the other team has to grab them. Once you lose both tags, you're out. The first time I was introduced to it, I cried because I didn't want to get eaten by a shark. That doesn't make any sense. I know it doesn't, but I was five. I don't hate the game as vehemently now, but I still don't really like it. One game I did like was kickball. Kick a ball and hit the bases. Not even I could mess it up. I definitely liked those scooter things, but they were very accident prone. I also loved those giant parachute things. If they weren't so expensive, I'd totally buy one. Another special we did was art. Every year at my school, the curriculum would change from art to music and back again. But for my first year, we had art. I don't actually remember much from this class, which is ironic. I remember we made these acrylic things for Mother's Day. I think I drew sunflowers. I also remember the stick figure video that was set to I Got a Feeling by the Black Eyed Peas. Our art class was connected to our regular class. It was separated by the bathroom, actually. The only other special I remember was Reading Buddies. Our class would go to a fifth grade class and the older kids would read to us. I think I had two older boys as Reading Buddies who treated me very nicely. Now let's go on a detour and talk about some school food. I mostly brought my own lunch, but there were some exceptions. I already mentioned the fantastic grilled cheeses. Spaghetti was also amazing. The taste went down though because of the health laws Michelle Obama enacted the next year. I know it was for health reasons, but my spaghetti! I love the chicken tenders and the mashed potatoes. They even came with delicious dinner rolls. Probably the best meal in the entire Albuquerque school district, honestly. The bean and cheese burritos were good, but most of the time I'd sneak them out for my sister since she loves them. We'd also have snack time. My favorite were the crackers with cheese spread with the red stick for spreading. I haven't had them since, but I'd probably go directly to heaven. Once we had the cheese and crackers from Keebler's and I threw up. That was the day I learned being sick got me out of school. Back on track, let's go on to the other daily activities. We had playtime that was dictated by the game wheel. I don't remember how it worked or most of the activities, but I do remember that one of the widgets had computer time. That was the most coveted activity so we could play cool math games. We also had nap time. I think my favorite part was the small styrofoam cup of water we got right before. The last activity we had was reading time. Definitely nice since even though I love reading, I didn't learn how to until like 
second grade. Now on to recess. We had different sections of equipment and big sandboxes, and next to it all was a big grassy field. Said field had many groundhog holes that we weren't allowed to go near lest we were mauled. Ah, memories. On my second day, I remember I brought a nice plastic ring to recess and almost immediately lost it. Never found it either. During recess, I would play with Hope mostly, and whenever I said something she didn't like, she would wander around and sing the I have no friends, I'm so lonely song. Yeah, great friend. Ian had this girl who was his friend that I was very jealous of. Once she fell off a slide and really hurt her back, the ambulance came and I remember feeling really bad for her. And here's some quick miscellaneous stories to finish off. We had a celebration once for 100 days. Everyone had a project for it. I did something with 100 can lib tabs. Once a kid was drumming his fingers and a teacher scolded him. I mimicked him and then got sent to time out. Once we had a daredevil demonstration, we also had a fire truck show up one day and we got to see the inside and stuff. We made ice cream in class once. On the last day of school, my teacher actually gave me a bunch of art supplies, which was sweet of her. We also had an outdoor day where we got to do fun water activities and soft serve ice cream. And lastly, we got a DVD slideshow of the year. I haven't actually seen it in years, but I still have it. Maybe I'll watch it again someday. And that's as many stories as I want to share today. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like and subscribe if you want to see more. And ring the bell if you'd like notifications every time I upload. Hopefully, YouTube can be a fickle mistress. Thanks everybody for watching and have a good day. And that's not a suggestion, it's a command. Bye! Okay, so uh, this is post-editing Mel here, and and man, the original audio was like 10 minutes long, and um, now it's like 6 minutes and 30 seconds. I cut out like 4 minutes of audio just from outtakes and mistakes. Like, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> anyway, a uh, shout out to my sister for helping uh, edit this. She hasn't done it yet at the time I'm recording this, but I I, but I, uh, I, I assume she will, so uh, thanks, Dee. Man, it's like 2.30. I'm so tired. All right, bye for real this time.